So greetings everyone, it's your girl Ashes the Rebirth. Back at it today. Um, starting something brand new for the page. So I've been, um, I tried to do like a, a daily uh, reading. Um, and since the subscriber is kind of low and beginning numbers right now, um, what I'm going to do is split it up. So you guys know that I don't do it by zodiac signs. I do it for the mission of healing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the months up. So this reading will be for um, all healing purposes, things that are going on within our heart chakra, um, things that we need to work on, be conscious of, um, any guidance that may come through here um, is for us collectively, right? We are each interconnected. And so what resonates with you resonates with you. Um, so keep what resonates with you and let the rest um, fall for someone else to pick up. Um, so what I'm going to do is split the months up. So this will be from the 1st to the 15th of August. And then I'll do another one um, for the end of August. So this will be a general healing read for August 1st to the 15th of August 2018. So thank you to all my subscribers already. Please share with your friends, uh, people that you think would benefit from um, the card readings that I do, um, the services that I provide as well, and all that information is in the description box below. Thank everyone for their likes, shares, and definitely your subscribes. If you are a subscriber, please hit the little bell there so that you can be notified when I do post um, different content. What I'm going to try to do is uh, build um, a subscribage, um, right? And so I want to put content on here, but there's been a lot of content shared. Um, and I don't want any of it to fall to the wayside because, of course, I am here um, utilizing the Oracle abilities, if you will, um, the intuitive know-how uh, know um, and guidance that... I'm availed through the source that I call love. Um, that is an eternal, universal existence. Um, and so that is who and what sources to me. If you are new to this page, I'm Ashes the Rebirth. Uh, our paths cross. When there is a rejuvenation, uh, rebirthing, obviously, um, a reinventing, a rejuvenating, um, a reiterating a rejoicing, and most importantly, a remembering of who your divine authentic self is. And that's what these healing reads are all about. So it does not matter what zodiac sign you are. I do have uh, a lot of pages that I like and channels that I like and have subscribed to um, that do split up through zodiac. So if you want to go through my channels and see some of the ones that um, I particularly like, please do so. I'm all about supporting others. Um, these are the... Uh, the mission that I've been given is uh, collectively um, about guiding people to their divine authentic self. So if that is you and you are ready to be a uh, active, ooh, jumpy, jumpy, an active participant along your healing journey, then this would be uh, content here you would find that will assist you, guide you along that path, um, and subscribe into this page would be very good for you so we are going to begin here with what is called the pillar card the pillar card is the card in which the guides okay your ancestors the angels want you to pay attention to and that is the answer prayer card the crown chakra card is the nature card the heart center card is dreams. What is going to guard our heart is the trust card. And the grounding card for us today is going to be meditation and focus. Beautiful. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, this is my typical spread here. Um, so we have the pillar card, crown card, heart chakra card, the guards guardians of our heart and then the grounder card um, our foundational card so here with the answered prayer what this is saying 
is that for the first half of August, we need to be focusing on things that we have petitioned for, okay? Things that we have requested, things that we have prayed for, uh, because in this moment, they are being answered, okay? Um, and we need to be focusing on that. Um, reason being, um, I've been working very hard on what I call the manifestation camp. And so if we all were to take time to really delve into what is it that we're really petitioning for? What is it that we really want? What we really need? What we're asking for in our devotion time, in our prayer time? Um, concentrating on the fact that these things are already answered, right? That in which we are seeking is true seeking us. Therefore, once it is asked, once it is petitioned for, it is already there for us, right? Because all things good, all things splendor, all things grand are, you know, beckoning unto us, right? The same way we, we think that we're putting so much energy into asking for it. It is wanting to come to us because it is our divine right, which is why it is so important, okay, to link up with a page such as this or other content and other um, energy light workers who are speaking the same um, because we need to understand who we are divinely, okay? And once we understand that, things begin to line up, but we have to be in tune with who we are authentically um, and from the divine's um, viewpoint, your higher self, if you will. Crown Chakra. This is what, let me say while I'm here with this card. This card also, the green is resonating a lot with me and the purple there. So this is a lot to do with your spiritual access and understanding, okay? Um, and heart chakra work. Everything about healing is all about the heart chakra, right? Um, so being in tune to the heart's desires. And when I say heart's desires, we're going deeper than just our ego, um, three-dimensional hearts, wants, and desires. And those are included, yes, because we're human. But go outside that box real quick, right? And really venture. This crown chakra card is, is talking all about nature. So this is all about the natural rotation of things, the natural cycle of things. Allow things to occur, allow them to happen, and it will be okay, all right? Um, we have to get in tune to the natural flow that is our life, the natural flow of who you are, um, the natural flow of what you've allowed yourself to believe that you are, what you deserve, because in letting those things go, allowing the natural flow of life to occur, um, that is opening up windows, doors, portals, gateways for us to truly experience what is divinely ours in the first place. So this being in the crown chakra space is... Of course, crown chakra is resonating with your spiritual access, right? A portal all in itself. And it's nature. So it's all about natural. So naturally, we are answered prayers in ourselves. Okay? So again, that in which you are seeking is to seeking you. Uh, in your spiritual portal, um, it's saying that we can access some of the natural flow of life by watching the natural cycles in the world right the closest example i can give because this is a nature card is the ecosystem for example right i don't know what animal you're drawn to um if it's you know bodies of water that you're drawn to if it's the actual fertile ground that you walk on if it's the trees if it's the flowers whatever it is in nature that appeases you that resonates with you when you think of nature automatically what pops in your head go and and research those things right Go and delve into those things because that is what the system, the cycle, the workings, okay, the mechanisms, the mechanisms, excuse me, of how um, those flowers grow or, or uh, the water or, you know, anything in that existence of, of whatever resonates with you when you think nature, watch the flow of it, the details of it, research it right? Because that is going to allow you to venture into the cycle that is your life, okay? That's the nature card. And then we have the heart chakra space. <laughs> beauty, beauty. So dreams is in the heart chakra space. So if we're talking about the heart chakra space and we're talking about in terms of healing, okay? The pillar card is answer prayers. That means the things in which your heart is dreaming and we are talking about the divine authentic heart, what are the things that you truly desire? What is divinity, your higher self, saying to you? The dreams that you really have, you know, the ones that you put on hold, um, the ones that you think are uh, uh, 
not achievable, right? The ones that seem impossible. This dreams card is in the heart chakra space saying, solidifying the fact that one, we know that it's already answered. We are following the flow and the natural flow is those things in which I am seeking my dreams, especially the ones that seem to be impossible, especially the ones that everything in this 3D dimension wants me to believe is not mine, wants me to believe is impossible to have, is the very things that I'm supposed to have in the very first place. And so being uh, the rebirth, speaking in terms of re, right? When in the intro I said that I come along the path when there's a rejuvenation, right? Uh, a reestablishing, a realigning, a remembering of who we are. Re implies that this is something that was already yours. Okay, so you're not asking permission for it. You're not hoping for it. You're not faithing your way through it. It already is yours. All you have to do is take it. So these dreams, the reason the pillar card is answered prayers is because all you have to do is follow the natural flow that is you. All things you desire, all things you want, all things that are rightfully yours are yours in the first place. You have forgotten here in this realm, which is easy for us all to do. But the angels and the guides in this moment is beckoning unto us in the beginning half of August to focus and understand that all that we desire, all that we want is nothing new. It is our ego heart, the natural heart, 3D realm heart, this earth, human heart, soul, merging natural flow with the divine heart, the true heart. And allowing those dreams and the natural flow of that to happen because it is already ours. We're not asking for it, okay? We're not waiting for it. We're waiting to recognize our true authentic selves, merging it one heart with the other heart, and watching manifestation take place because that is what we are born and bred to do in the first place. These two cards here, these are the cards that are the soldiers. Uh, the warriors, they come to guard our heart. They are guardians of our heart. So they give guidance as well as protect the heart. And so um, we have to the right trust and to the left power. So the left side is what we are being offered by the guides. Okay, this soldier here is allowing us power. Why? Because divinity says so. We are eternal divine beings in our authentic right. When we are in a space of understanding who we truly are, have done the inner shadow work, and we are now in a space of living, fulfilling these dreams, seeing answered prayers because we've merged heart with heart, now standing in our divine, rightful, authentic space, we can receive the power that the guides have been trying to knock on the, the door of our brain and our heart to let us know, hey, this is you and this is what you have access to. So utilize it so that these things can occur. And what is it that we need to offer into the universe for them offering us this power? Trust. And it is blue signifying everything throat chakra, everything validating, everything being sure of ourselves. Needing no one to tell me that yes, this is who you are. But you saying yes, this is who I am. This is what I deserve. This was already mine and I'm taking it. Not asking permission. Your validity is not in someone else's acceptance of you or of what you say is yours for possession. Utilize your throat chakra, your strength and your own confidence your own power to take exactly what is yours. That is the soldiers and the warriors that are guarding our heart. And then our foundation, what grounds us, what keeps us in the knowledge of all of this, maintaining all of this, stay grounded in a state of meditation. What is that? Meditation is whatever it is that you make it where you're getting in a space and a frame of mind and heart space where you bring not clarity to clear your mind of all things because our brains are mechanisms just like a computer. They're going to think, calculate, analyze. You're never gonna get to a space where it's just gonna quiet down and think of nothing. The meditation is to get yourself, your mind, your spirit, your heart in a space where they are merging together now, recognizing the positive energy and flow that is you now and that could be through music for some, that could be through sitting silently for some, that can be through concentrating on your breathing for some, 
I meditate in different forms and different ways all the time. Please go to the website so that you guys can see some of the different forms of meditation that I do. Google some different forms of meditation. Sit and ask your guides, your ancestors. Speak to your higher self about what it is that you should do as meditation. And, and then continue that practice because it is the grounder. It is what keeps you in the understanding and in the flow of all of this beauty here in the spiritual higher realm of yourself, you see, so that you can see the manifestation of things here in this realm where you dwell each and every day, even though you are a spirit being, okay? So your meditation is whatever you create it to be. Sometimes I can zone out, but if you're going to do music, be mindful of the words, right? If it is going to be just melody, be mindful of the melody. Is this something that is going to draw melancholy low frequency of energy to me? Or is this something that is going to heighten and charge me? Okay? Your meditation should always charge, should always be what is going to guide. And it should be something that draws you into a space to yourself where you are honoring yourself to merge your spirit, your soul, and your heart space. You understand? Okay? And that is the base of the reading. Now we're going to get into some clarifying. I use wisdom cards for clarifying. I didn't separate them today. Um, so one, I have wisdom cards that will resonate with your healing. Clarify along your healing. Uh, and then we have abundance. Clarifiers uh, speaking to your abundance. And then there is also clarifiers that speak. Um, that one jumps. Um, that speaks to our relation to our higher selves. And this is for August 1st to the 15th, 2018. So Spirit Guides, we thank you for this clarity that's coming through the Wisdom Cards here. And then we will conclude with my very beautiful, sassy, sassy soul cards that I love. And we're grateful to the Oracle Cards and the Guides and Ancestors for speaking um, through the first deck that's already laid out for us. So this is for our healing purposes, August 1st to the 15th, 2018. So in relation to our healing, I release generational inhibitions. Yes. I am free of the past and of the parental and societal cries for injury to another. The world is now released from this constrictive pain. Egos are healed and minds are free. This is a wisdom card that's bringing clarity to the overall healing that these cards are speaking of. So what is the overall healing that we are looking to based on here? So in order to see the answered prayers and the dreams and all manifesting, right, there's inner work. So if that is you, we are releasing generational inhibitions. What are those things generation to generation to generation that's holding you, okay? Might not be approved of by so-and-so. Again, trust. Again, throat chakra. Validating yourself. Not waiting on what mama, papa said. Grandmama and grandfather said. Aunties, uncles. The one who raised me so-and-so. What they did. What they say about me. We're letting those generational... Uh, we're releasing those. I am free of the past. Letting it all go. You understand? Okay? Trusting the flow of a thing. Okay? Whatever those things were, were part of something. Maybe they showed you more of yourself. Maybe it showed you some people and things and situations that you need to let go. And it sucks that we have to go through the horrible things sometimes. But let's begin to trust the flow. Let's begin to utilize our power and not fall into a state of victimization so that we can truly see what is divinely ours and not what they gave to us and told us was us. The things that created who we think of ourselves now. We are going to remember our divine authentic self. So it says, I am free of the past and of parental and societal cries for injury to another. The world is now released from the constructive pain. Egos are healed and minds are free. That is clarity to everything that we have spoken in this moment. We are releasing the old. We are allowing the natural flow, the cycle, so what was, to become something else now. We are trusting that, and we are utilizing our power, the grounder, staying in a, in a form, in a state of meditation, so that we can have clear answers, okay? 
have clear guidance so that we can continue and see all the things that are divinely ours begin to go so that our minds are free our egos are healed so now we're not feeling and being judgmental through a through a through an egotistical view our soulish view we're merging now the heart chakra with the spirit to the soul which overrides okay we want the heart and the spirit to override the ego healed so that we can now see who we are divinely and begin to walk in our divine right in connection with our higher self okay the wisdom cards read you can connect every experience in your day to a previous event from where you intended the event even events that seem like a surprise are part of your vibration you can connect every experience in your day to a previous event from where you intended the event okay even events that seem like a surprise are part of your vibration again the nature card the cycle of all things okay so you can connect all things just like we are all interconnected so you can connect every experience that you've already had to another event okay from where you intended that event right you could have intended it to be something else it could be two separate occasions two different experiences but guess what you can connect them in some way okay because everything whether they seem like mistakes whether they seem like rewards whether they seem like heartache sadness guilt regret guess what it is still a part of your vibration meaning what you have the power to create what it is that you want to create and whatever has occurred you are trusting the natural flow of all of those things what did i gain from that event how can i compare it to another one not staying in the past but moving on and understanding that all of these things even if they seem like a prize was still a part of this vibration it was meant to be because i am divine and i am eternal and i always have power and what is divinely mine is always mine as long as I keep to my foundation, knowing that I am guarded and knowing that I am answered prayer already, meaning all that I am seeking is already seeking me out. And then lastly, for the clarity um, is in relation to our abundance. So it is, um, it reads, give because it is the nature of who you are. This card comes out a lot give because it is joyful to do so give until you feel really good give and you will receive bushel basketfuls in return now i know a lot of us are going to think this literally means to give and for some of you there's a portion of you that yeah you're givers at heart and all of us should be right hands open to give because we can always receive it's always going to come back right but what i feel really strongly right now for the beginning of august to the 15th and in this healing read right now is that the giving that um, that is being spoken of um, the giving that the guides want want us all to understand in this moment is number one giving of ourselves okay um, the set this also has the word nature in it this card is strong today this crown chakra card give because it is the nature of who you are it's joyful to do so give until you feel really good give and you will receive bushel fulls bushel basketfuls in return give give yourself a break give yourself a chance to recoup give yourself an opportunity to heal give yourself the opportunity to embrace your power give yourself the option to voice and validate yourself you understand okay and then i'm going to shuffle here the soul cards soul cards I use as the conclusion cards because they are one word and then just a brief statement it's just like a closer like bam there you go you've had all the the intricate, intricate details 
and now let me just finish you off. Okay? And this is the conclusion for us as far as our guidance goes for the month of August, the 1st through the 15th for us. strongly judgment Ooh, good i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so that goes along with that give give yourself the opportunity to not see through a judgmental lens the ego but to see yourself through how divinity sees you your higher self sees you and everyone understand this has their own unique path and challenges again the nature card trust your cycle what you are going through, what you have been through, okay? You have your own path and your own challenges, but it is up to you to hone in on that power, to focus in your meditative practice here. Trust and validate your own self because your dreams are already here. They are what divinity says is yours in the first place and they are already answered. What are you waiting for? So, it's been real, everybody. It's your girl Ashes the Rebirth once again. Remember that we are always to follow all things pure, all things true, and all things love, and all things grand and great will always beckon unto you. Um, please remember to subscribe, like, and leave comments, questions, concerns. Please check out all things in the description box so that you can know how to contact me, how to set up personal reads, um, and all the other products and services that I provide. Share with someone because there's no one under the sound of my voice. Okay, no one that we know that is not somewhere along the healing process, okay? Namaste.